Hi guys, Topman Jim Bob here. Uh, this is a review of the earlier Premier League clash between Stoke City and West Ham United. Start off by saying the result as ever, it finished Stoke City 2, West Ham 2. Uh, probably fully deserving of a draw, I would say, between the two teams. Stoke City did, yes, have a two goal lead and were fully deserving of that by half time. Goals coming from Victor Moses and Mame Biram Juf. West Ham United seemed invigorated in the second half. Yes, they didn't have the Afri Sacco. But at the same time, Anna Valencia seemed to be a completely different player, uh, obviously getting West Ham's first goal. And then from there on, there was only ever going to be one outcome from the game. And that for me was either a West Ham win or a draw. And later on in the game, they did end up getting my um, second goal, West Ham, through Stuart Downing, which at that point was fully deserved. Stoke City... Dominated the first half, i um, pretty sure that West Ham, I'm not sure I had any shots in the first half, no no clear-cut opportunities or goal-scoring chances for them, um, so Stoke were fully deserving. If you watched the preview, I did say hard pushed I would, I would have gone with Stoke if I had to give a team to win. As it, as it happens, I went with a draw at 1-1 and I feel overall that 2-2 in the end was a fair result. Yes, Stoke probably did have a chance to win the game late on, but they didn't take it. And I'm pretty sure Sam Allardyce will be um, pretty satisfied with a 2-2 draw and going away from Britannia with a point, which is a very hard place to go to and play football. The fans get on top here, um, get behind the team. Uh, it's a very hard place to go, the Potter is. And yeah, Stoke, I think, in hindsight now, probably will be... Thinking, oh, they threw it away. They did have a two-goal lead. But nevertheless, they still got a point from a team who are up there. Probably not going to be up there, I wouldn't have thought, for the rest of the season. But who knows? We'll see how the season pans out. I expect West Ham to be finishing in the top ten, but no higher than probably eighth, I don't imagine. Um, obviously, the Afro Sacco being out was a big miss today for, for West Ham, scoring the amount of goals he scored from this season. Uh, but that's just unfortunate and yeah, Anna Valencia really pleased me today, especially his second half display was really good for West Ham. I may come across as being biased towards West Ham, I'm not, it's just I feel that it's easier to take a two goal lead from a standing start and by that what I mean is nil nil, it's easier to get into a two goal lead and throw it away than it is to get back from being a two two goals down so from a two goal deficit like West Ham did especially like say at the Britannia uh, both teams will probably be looking forward to the next game more for Stoke really they'll be looking forward um, they'll be looking forward to hopefully going away I'm not sure who the next game but I'm sure it is away though and hopefully getting three points there whereas West Ham they'll be carrying on this momentum obviously after last week beating Manchester City I hope hopefully taking a good point from the Britannia move forward into the next game. Uh, Sam Allardyce has got a really good squad there. As I've Stoke this season, uh, just not results not going one hundred percent against them this season. So overall, my I close off the video with saying point was a fair result. Um, I will be posting a Manchester United preview. I should say Manchester City versus Man United preview for the Manchester Derby later on. So please keep your eyes out for that. I'll try to be as honest as possible as I am with every video I do. So please, if you're watching this one, hit the subscribe button if you've not done already. Comment and like. And also if you've got any suggestions on teams you'd like me to preview and review games on, then please put that in the comment also. And cheers for tuning in for this video guys. Thank you.